Hi, and welcome to another look at what's new in Visual Studio Team Services. I'm Alex Nichols, a PM on the VSTS team. And today we're going to look at the few of the features that rolled out in Sprint 135 update, uh, which was in June of 2018. So let's go ahead and take a look. If we jump into the features here, uh, you'll notice the, the, the headliner here is, is visualizing release progress. So we'll talk about that uh, a bit in detail. If I jump down to the features list here I've got, this is where you can, you can just take a scan through the, the features and, and see if something might, might pique your interest or something that, that you're, you're curious about. Uh, so let's start off in work. And uh, first one's on inherited process. And this is, this is the, the UI-based uh, way that you can uh, maintain which work item types or which fields or the, how does the form look in, in your process that you're using for work item tracking. Uh, so we've got a way here to import and export, and it's just we're continuing to, to sort of strengthen our support for that, that, type of, uh, that type of process. Over in code, we've got a couple enhancements to pull request, you know, notification when you get uh, when policies are bypassed, and hey, ability to favor a branch uh, really quickly from right, right there in the PR. Over in build and release, uh, we'll, we'll talk about release progress a bit. But then otherwise, it's, it's just ways that you can simplify your build definition or maybe, maybe streamline some of the authentication that you might be using for, uh, with Azure. So that's something to, to certainly check out. And, and then again, on authentication, sort of guarding your account, right? When, when an alter alternative authentication mechanism, let's say a, um, a personal access token is granted, uh, we're going to start seeing some more notifications on that just to, just to make sure that uh, you got a great handle on, on your account. OK, so let's jump down into, into release progress. And you notice right off the bat, it's, it's, it's all about uh, being more visual um, or kind of consistent with all the other experiences that, or refreshes that you're seeing across the product. So you'll see some similar uh, type of controls and some similar graphics here. Uh, I've actually got a, a release that I'm going to start off here. Uh, I'm going to kick this release off. And we'll start to, we'll start to take a look at some of these some of these features in more detail. So I've got a release. I'll just take the latest, latest drop that I uh, created earlier, and off we go. Now, to, to get the new uh, visual editor, we, we go to preview features right under your, your icon there. And it's, it's right here, new, new release progress view. So you go ahead and flip that on. The page will refresh. And the next time you go to uh, release detail screen, you should see the, that graphical editor. And this is, this is a, uh, Something similar we've been working on for a while, which is the when you when you're editing the release definition, you get this nice graphical kind of palette to work work through. Um, now we've kind of brought that over into uh, release and kind of see as a release how it's progressing, what actions can I take, and we've kind of built upon that to make it visual. You saw as I was uh, bringing that up that hey, here's a here's an environment went through some kind of task. It's, it's doing some activity there, and it's nice kind of graphical representation. If I hover over, right, I can see there's some action. In this case, I could, I could cancel a deployment that's, that's in process. Over on the left, while well, that continues to work, I've got you know, the, the artifacts. If I click into these, I can see you know, some description. If I click one of the environments, uh, this is where you can see the commits uh, that were involved in this, in this deployment, as well as the work items. So this gives you that nice broad, you know, uh, part of the value of VSTS is that it's, it's well integrated across the different uh, pieces of the product. So uh, you could be working in build a release and then quickly jump over into either the commits and the code or the work items, the, the, in this case, a, a bug that was uh, fixed in this latest deployment. So here while that's going on, I'll, I'll also show uh, how you can click into the status to view the logs. And it, this is a, a new feature here that we've got to to really see that that graphical, um, just just a view of the logs in in more detail, so you can see the steps here and what's succeeded, sort of the steps along the way, the, the status, and then I can even um, as that gets going here, you're starting to see some activity. I can click into this and get kind of an immersive kind of log view, and if it starts to get long, I can kind of scroll down, kind of bring bring full full focus to this. So back on, back on the pipeline, uh, that, that one's moving along. You'll notice I've got another one down here, which is, uh, which is pending approval. So as an approver, I can go ahead and click, click Approve and take some action. 
you can approve or reject right there, and these, these panels kind of slide out as, as different, different types of actions come in. And so I approve that, that gets queued up. Meanwhile, this one, this one over here is processing, uh, this is evaluating gates right now. So I can click into that and see what's going on here. Looks like a gate was evaluated uh, recently, and it's a, it's a type of gate that's querying some work items to make sure that we can proceed. So this is our way of building in some automated checks so that everything's not manual. Uh, one of the ways is to do, to do work items, there are, there are others. And this one, the, the last evaluation of that, so I, I might be having some work items uh, that, that um, are causing my, my deployment to get hung up for this particular environment. So that's something I can go check out. But that, that's not all. So I'll go back to the uh, release notes here and just show, show some of the other pieces. So, uh, right, very clear of what succeeded, what's failed, what, what you should go focus on. Uh, we, we got some people involved, so it's kind of visual of what, who's involved. I showed the release gates, and the commits and such. And then down here, test results are also in there. So if, if you got some testing that you're doing also as part of the release, you get that nice uh, integrated kind of test, test result experience in there. Well, that's it for now. So go ahead and uh, check, out, check out the release notes for more detail about anything you saw or, or something I mentioned. Um, and remember that, that VSTS is, is one way uh, to really jumpstart your, your move into DevOps. It, it's also where you can uh, plan, plan better, code together, uh, and ship faster. So go ahead and th thanks for watching, and go ahead and subscribe for, for more videos.